When we told Ansley Hamrick of Princeton Junction, New Jersey, that she was chosen to spend the day with a favorite singer, she screamed louder than we've ever heard anyone before. <laughs> we flew Ansley to Los Angeles to meet Debbie Gibson. Watch. Hi. Good, how are you? Good. Good to see um, you. You too. I'm so glad to meet you. I can't believe this. When I was, you know, third, fourth grade, I used to pretend to be her and get up on the cardboard table like it was the piano. <laughs> The first thing Ansley learned about Debbie is that she loves to bowl, so that's exactly where they started their day. Once they got their shoes and picked out just the right balls, it was time to get rolling. Let's bowl. When we were bowling, I couldn't do it. I couldn't get her balls. So I finally resorted to throwing it between my legs. Debbie was obviously the pro in the lane, so she gave Ansley a few tips. Back, and then and keep your thumb like facing up and follow through. My dad always says, like, follow through. <laughs> it wasn't long before Ansley was striking it big time. <laughs> Debbie and Ansley started getting hungry, so they ordered a few sandwiches that might have been a little too big, even for their appetite. I'm never going to be able to get my mouth around this sandwich. Oh. After lunch, Ansley got to learn more about Debbie's passion for music. What inspires you when you're writing your songs? Let's see, it could be anything. It could be like something someone says that triggers an idea, or um, it could be from a, you know, a real experience. At what age did you know you're going to get into music? I can't even really remember a time or a place. I just always remember music in our house. We, we always had a piano. Um, my older sisters always played, and the radio was always going. And um, I started playing piano when I was like four years old, so it, it feels like oh. I've just been doing it forever. Since you started your professional career at 16 years of age, how did that affect you going to high school? It was hard to be completely like a normal student, but at the same time, it was a personal thing for me, staying in school. It was crazy, but it was worth it. <laughs> what kind of music do you listen to? I listen to everything from Barbara Streisand and Pearl Jam. I mean, I listen <laughs> to everything. It's like, to me, a good song is a good song, and a good singer is a good singer. Has your family been supportive during your career? Yes, very. When I was younger, you know, I kind of took it for granted, and now I really realize yeah. um, how much work that they and, and my sisters and my grandparents, mm -hmm. everyone, you know, everyone mm -hmm. really sacrificed a lot to help me out with my career. After getting to know more about each other, the girls climbed into the limo for a tour of the town. As they cruised across L.A., Debbie surprised Ansley with a special preview of her new album. Oh, this is a song called How Can This Be? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that was wonderful, riding in the limo and listening to her new album. It's a really good album. I really like it. After listening to Debbie's new album, it was time to hit the streets and do some window shopping. Do you like to sing and stuff and yeah, sing with I the do. song? I love singing along with your song. Then you know what? I know what place we should go. Yeah. All right, let's go now. Yeah. One of my favorite places <laughs> in the world. Debbie gave Ansley her own private concert while Ansley sang along to one of her all-time favorite songs, Lost in Your Eyes. I get lost in your eyes. When I sat down next to her at the piano, I was very nervous. I don't mind not knowing what I'm headed for. I never dreamed I would have my hands on the same keyboard as Debbie Gibson. I loved it. The thrill of actually singing along with a favorite performer was an experience that Ansley would never forget. I will always remember this song. I don't know, I've liked her for so long and then, like, I, you know, whenever we would go over state borders, or, you know, I'd lift up my feet and say, where's it going to be Debbie Gibson? And, and any time that I had, you know, throw a penny in the well, you know, and I did. <laughs> If there's someone you'd like to meet, write to us at Guest Day, Mickey Mouse Club, Disney, MGM Studios, P.O. Box 10200, Lake Buena Vista, Florida, 32830. And be sure to include your name, address, and telephone number.